Africa, the cradle of civilization. Africa, one of the seven continents of the world. Africa, 54 countries on this one continent. Africa, over 1.3 billion people comprising 15% of the world's human population. Africa, the richest continent because of its natural resources worth trillions of dollars. Yet Africa hosts the poorest people plighted by extreme poverty and violence. Uganda, landlocked. Uganda, the pearl of Africa, with luscious landscapes, hills, mountains, and valleys. Home to a significant portion of the largest lake on the African continent, Lake Victoria. Uganda, home of the Nile River's Mushishion's waterfalls. Uganda, 37.9 million people, 2.5 million orphans, and of that number, 1.2 million are orphaned by AIDS. Uganda, 89% Christianity. This is where CLM Christian Life Ministry step in to make a difference in Sita, a village in Uganda, or Seta, or Sita as they call it. Under the leadership of Pastor Jackson and Eve Sinyonga, Adventure Village is offering hope and a promise to over hundreds of orphans. Their motto? Raising Uganda's orphan children into tomorrow's leaders. To see it is to believe it. We would need a full one hour documentary to do good justice to the amazing work of this couple and their dedicated team. The Venture, a visit to Seta, Uganda through Bethel Gospel Tabernacle. 34 missionaries, from Bethel. Six men, 28 women from all walks of life and professions. Adults, young adults, seniors, retirees, willing vessels sacrifice time and finances to extend a hand to the less fortunate. We were the first African-American team to visit in 25 years since its inception. So Bethel, a big shout out to you. Adventure Village and Cove Secondary School, 750 orphans, 28 moms, one nurse, one doctor, two schools, primary and secondary. 
Here's a look at Bethel's 2016 Uganda Missions Focus. Vacation Bible School with teaching, singing, signing, teacher development, student development, but it didn't end there. Three. We had sports and Olympic Day and to watch the children out in the field being so competitive and energetic, eagerly awaiting their awards and their prizes. Yet when they came together, they hugged one another and congratulated each other. The spirit of excellence is on these children. Moms, the 28 women who take care of the children. Pampering, shadowing, assisting, cooking, washing, cleaning, scrubbing, loving. Buckets being cleaned because again we're ready to put porridge in the buckets for the children's lunch. And Mama Sarah is smiling <laughs> as she does this excellent job cleaning these buckets so the kids can have a good breakfast or a good lunch. <laughs> We had the wonderful opportunity to take all 28 moms to the hotel, the Rider Hotel, and treat them for a day, pampered them with breakfast, getting their hair done, manicure, pedicure, back massages, and a care package second to none. Okay guys, all the guys say hi, hello New York, hello New York. Thank you. Beautiful. Uniforms for the students. Some of our missionaries, gifted with the skill of sewing, was able to go and repair a lot of the damaged uniforms. Let's help repair some of the ones that are repairable. So they got the buttons, the threads, and the needles. And Olivia, lift your head up, please. Olivia's a seamstress, she's trying to make this happen. And Cherise, you know, she's a famous designer. Say hi, hey. Cherise. <laughs> she's helping to make sure their uniforms look well. And Tanisha, she's a Jamaican, so Jamaicans can sew. Period. So bless you, ladies. <laughs> then we selected children who were in dire need of new uniforms. We got a seamstress, made brand new uniforms for several of the secondary and primary students. They look so good in the uniforms. Mosquitoes, the challenge of Uganda. We were able to purchase sleeping mosquito nets for several of the primary children, protecting them from mosquito bites and perhaps malaria. Facility upkeep. We helped to build a kitchen second to none. 
We repaired the primary school bathrooms, provided cleaning supplies like mops, brooms, buckets, things we take for granted. We provided cleaning uniforms, boots, gloves, masks, things we take for granted. Hello, New York. Hello. Hello. Introduce them, please, and you, sir. What's your Brian. name? I'm Brian. Brian? Yes. Hi, Brian. Hello. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, hello. Alex. Alex, hello, Alex. Benan. Benan. Yes. Yes, hello, sir. Maurice. Maurice. Hello, Maurice. Hello. And do we know these two? Oh, from that? Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bethel Sam. <laughs> and you, sir? Hello, Jory. How jo are you? Jory. Jory? Hello. Hello, and? And Marie. And Marie. And the boss oh. man with a hat on his Yo. head. <laughs> <laughs> That's our bishop taking pictures of this newly transformed kitchen. When we came, there wasn't anything in here. And look what these men with the workers have accomplished. Amen. The clinic. We assisted the nurse and the doctor. We provided medical supplies. Treated the students with malaria, fevers, allergies, and stomach ailments. We provided uniforms for the nurse. We provided a radio for the clinic. Swimming, a luxury that most of these children cannot afford. We gave them swimming lessons, swimming uniforms as they call it, and then we awarded them with prizes for being on target. Church services were held at CLM and at Adventure Village, and the Spirit of the Lord moved in both locations. Of course, we relaxed. The team relaxed. We went shopping. We went dining. We went swimming, we went on tours, and we got to see and visit the source of the Nile. This is Uganda. Life in Uganda. Fascinating, amazing, skillful. Drivers everywhere. Buying and selling and buying and selling. So skillful? We closed our festivities with dinner and celebration. We bought a cow, 500 US dollars got us a cow, and we were able to feed the children and the staff. And they in turn turned around and entertained us with music and with dancing.
Bethel, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your sacrifices, your financial sacrifices, your prayers and your encouragement. Let me tell you, your dollars went a long way. You never know what the reward will be for you in heaven because you made a child smile. You put shoes on a child's feet. You put food in a child's belly. You gave love through us who went to Uganda to see for ourselves the amazing work at Adventure Village with Jackson Sinyonga and Christian Life Ministries. Thank you. Somebody scream Hallelujah In the morning when I wake up I will sing my praise unto you my Lord I will shout, I will dance to you You are giving me health forever, ever Hey, 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 hey Praise. Oh, show, my boy. 